Hello truckers, welcome back to SnowRunner in Central Asia, of course. In the Royal BM, I'm headed on back to get uh, two more consumable boxes. That's what we need to finish up a bit of this, a bit of that, apparently. Uh, as for the trailer that we brought over last episode, I'm, I'm not too sure. I mean, I drove it to the zone and um, Walt well, doesn't say it needs a trailer anymore. So uh, we'll see what happens after I bring these two boxes back. It's a relatively easy drive. It's mostly on asphalt here. So just go pick up these two boxes and uh, then we'll see what we do next after this. I'm not too sure. I have no idea. I'll have to check out the uh, jobs, contracts, tasks, see what I want to do. Uh, sometimes it just, just, you know, the offer's right there. I mean, like this, this, this job here that I'm doing, um, I brought the potatoes up and it's like, uh, we got this job for you. It's like, yeah, I'm already here. Let's do it. Uh, nope, we don't want that stuff. Uh, we don't want that stuff. Yes, we want consumables. Love how that loads. Just bang, bang. And it's in. Okay, so back on up out of here. And back right where this came from. Part of me wants to kind of get into doing... A job for one of the three companies today probably not Harvest Corp we've done a lot of those I should probably look into the other two companies and see what they have to offer and start knocking those off one at a time I think actually the next job for one of them is I got to use the uh, seismic vibrator I think Uh, I just have a little bit of nightmares with that because the last time I've used it uh, did not go well for me. I got stuck on a lot of stumps. I could actually have gone that way, but I'm going to stick to the asphalt. Uh, how am I doing on fuel? I'm down to halfway on fuel. Not a big deal because there is a trailer store over here. So I can always buy a fuel tanker and fuel up that way. And the Royal BM is actually in pretty good shape. Not getting a lot of damage on the asphalt roads in the last few episodes. I haven't hit any potholes or whatever, so... I'm starting to think uh, they took that out of the game somehow. Or tweaked it somehow so it's not just randomly with no holes that you can't see just getting 20 or 30 damage on your suspension tires whatever it decides to damage and you can see we're not too far from where we need to be and uh, we'll see what happens to that trailer. Maybe I just brought the trailer down just because uh, they want to see if I can haul trailers. Maybe they don't even want it. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, cargo management. Alrighty, and that one's done. Uh, deliver logs and package sand. Well, logs, I haven't done in a while. That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, package sand. Where, where do I get... Okay, so we got delivered to there. Uh, logs, I think, are down... Yeah, logs are over here. Uh, sand. Sand. Sand? Where's the pickup point for sand? May not even be on this map. Oh, way over here. The sand store. Well, I have uh, sand storage. I haven't been over there in a while. Uh, a long while and uh, let's see how can I make this work uh, what kind of logs medium logs so let's go back to the trailer store um, I'll get a fuel tanker we'll refuel the Royal BM that way we're gonna have fuel and then uh, I'll get myself a medium trailer so we should be able to put the two uh, package sand in the back of the Royal BM and the logs in the in the trailer can I get two logs? How many? Uh, do I, am I gonna need like two trailers for that? It's been a while since I've done logs, so yeah, I'm not too sure 
how the count works on that. Can the Royal BM haul two trailers? Is that a thing? I don't know. Let's go back to the trailer store, though. We'll get ourselves a fuel tanker, and we'll top this off with fuel. Now, see, I see potholes and rough road there, so I, I could understand if I got a little bit of damage there. But in the past, like just riding on a road like this, you'd get some damage. Uh, or running into a electric pole that will do the same thing. <laughs> Just between all the games I use my steering wheel on, ATS, uh, Farming Simulator, and here, the steering on this one always gets me. Okay, trailer store is actually straight ahead, so what I want to do to get myself lined up right, we're going to go around. At least be pointing out the gate. Don't don't pull in, because I've done that like the first time. I used to pull straight in to the trailer store, and before I'd be facing the opposite direction, right? And then I have to turn all around to get out, and sometimes it can be a little tricky. Uh, wait a minute, I gotta make sure my mouse is active before I go into the screen. Uh, we just need... Okay, we're gonna buy that. Exit on out for a second. And then we want to refuel. Uh, source to carrier to the Royal BM. Yes, that's what we want to do. Perfect. Alright, go back into the store. Fuel carrier, sell that back. And now we need a logging trailer. Okay, so logging trailer can hold one. This is cargo one. Is there one that can hold two that I can haul with the Royal BM? That's the rear. Uh, sideboard. I think I think I'm just down to the one. So. The question I have is... <laughs> oh, the game probably won't let me do it, will it? Unless I unhitch. I was thinking I could use the wench. And we can wench to another trailer. No, I'm out of the, I'm out of the zone. So I can't... I don't think I'm going to be able to attach another trailer to it anyways. Alright, I think I'll just go with this. Uh, I'll have to make two trips. Not a big deal. I'll try to make my trips count, but at least this will... I mean, I still had to make two trips either way, right? So, let's see here. Uh, you are there. Yeah, let's let's go ahead. We'll go this way, and then what I'll do is I can drop off the logging trailer. That's the wrong button. Uh, then we need to go here, all the way to here, to here. That that's the route we need to go. It's gonna be a bit of a drive, but uh, it's okay. Got to make the villagers happy. village people oh that trailer is sliding all over the place just like I am now of course with the trailer sliding it's making me slide why is the trailer so slippery oh yeah I probably should advance the time as well when I was there I think the sun's going down Like driving on ice. I 
on the map it seems like it's a distance away, but maybe I'll get there quicker than I think I'm going to. This map always surprises me with uh, how close in vicinity things actually are. I probably should go ahead and just put all-wheel drive on now, since we're getting ready to go on some dirt. So let me put it in high gear. I think high gear would be best. And when I get to the top of a hill, I'll go into the map and we'll advance until 6 o'clock in the morning. That way we can all see better when we don't have to drive through the night. And I won't, uh, you know, approach any stumps by surprise as well when I take shortcuts. And this looks like a good spot. Make sure I take it out a high because I won't be able to restart in high gear. Uh, let's see here. Midnight, 6 a.m. That's good. Actually, we're almost at the logging station. And of course, I think I can convert the Royal BM over to take logs as well, but then I wouldn't be able to grab the sand either. So actually, I'm going to circle around. We're going to grab the medium log. I hope this, this should be able to take medium logs. I hope. And then we'll leave the trailer here while we go grab the two bags or two containers of sand. Cargo, medium logs, that's what we want. Um, I could actually put the medium logs in the truck, huh? Uh, we don't want to do that. Okay, I have the option to put them in the back of the truck, but I don't think uh, the way the setup is it would allow me to do it. But that's fine. That's just fine. Uh, detached trailer. All right, spin back around and let's go get these packaged sand. Just gotta take it nice and easy. I wanna say I've been on this road before, but it's been so long I don't really remember how rough it can be. A lot of bounciness. I got some bounce in my step today. Or at least the Royal BM does. And that's usually where I roll over. Is, is when it starts to bounce too much. And I just keep on going. Now let's avoid... Whoa, uh, yeah, almost tipped over on the driver's side. Don't want to do that. Try to avoid the muddy areas as much as possible. Although some would say that defeats the purpose of SnowRunner. You're supposed to go through the muddy sections. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, almost tipped over the, again there. I think I need to get the sand in the back of the Royal BM. I think they'll give me some stability. Oh, this looks, uh, oh, hello. 
No, I have not been down this road. Cause I, I think I'll remember the trailer with the, uh, the wind turbine uh, blade on it. That's why I think it is. Well, I just want to stick a little bit closer to the edge. That way, if I need to wench up to a tree or something, I can do so. Uh, can I go over here? Now, coming through here with the sand might be a little bit more difficult because I'm at a lot more weight. Which is the obvious thing to point out, right? And that wasn't too bad. Kind of glad now I left the logging trailer back at the logging station. Alright, let's try high gear again now that we're all through that stuff. And we are here at the Sand Depot. Out. Okay, there's a pothole, apparently. All right, let's sneak on in here. And package sand. Make sure it's package sand. Yes, package sand. Load, load. And let's turn around. And now we just got to head on back where we came from, grab the logging trailer, and we'll get three quarters of the, the uh, delivery all done. Watch out for that pothole, wherever it is. Did some damage, of course, but not an extreme amount. Oh yeah, I can tip over rather easily with the sand in the back. I can see it's going to happen. Today's the day I roll over after coming back to SnowRunner after four or five months gone. Yeah, I'm a little bit more top-heavy now, so rolling over would be a little bit easier. Now, it looks like that job there is going to require probably the Taga with a high saddle. And since I don't really see a box like, go, you know, accept a job probably going to be for one of the three companies. I think there's one called Power Corp or something like that. Harvest Corp, of course, farming. Power Corp. I, I'm pretty sure that's not what they're called, but that's going to be for like the wind turbine and I forgot the other one. I think it's like re for resources kind of a company. I right, got through that muddy water rather easily. Stop the bouncing. I don't see any tree stumps here. So I'm going to try going over through here.
Yeah, the Royal BM is like one of the trucks you get early on, isn't it? Did we get it in... Do, I think we started in Michigan, right? Did they get this in Michigan? Or was that Wisconsin? I don't know. It's been a while. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't you start... Leaning that far over. Still quite bouncy with this much of a load in the back. Right, should be just about back to grab the logs. I got the engine and that always likes to stall out every once in a while for I don't want to say no reason there must be a reason why it does it Should be close enough to grab the uh, trailer, right? Wait, right, if you can hear that, yeah, I got another thunderstorm rolling on through where I am right now, so you may hear thunder once in a while. Which is kind of setting, you know, for what we have conditions right now here in SnowRunner, because it is raining. So I'll have to come back in another load of logs. Might as well go ahead and use the trailer that we got. And I may have to stop by the trailer store again to refuel. No sense of taking a chance to see if I can come all the way back, get logs, and make it back. I don't want to say the trailers are free, because you do pay for them, but you get your money back just by selling them, even though you've used the, all the fuel or the service parts or whatever. There actually might be some jobs uh, back on Michigan and Wisconsin that I probably need to uh, finish up. I think they've added some in, uh, if you'd like, by the Season 2 and Season 3 pass, which I currently have, the first three seasons. But I remember when they did that when Season 2 came out, I went back and uh, got some jobs done, and the map seemed easy at that point. <laughs> But when you start out and you have nothing, like we did way back when SnowRunner came out, it was rough getting around. But now with all the equipment that we have and the upgrades that we have, makes it kind of, kind of simple here. Uh, this way is where I got to go. Easy over the railroad tracks. I think what I could have done was if I if I, when I was at the trailer store, when I bought this trailer, I could have pulled forward, I could have like dropped this trailer off out here. Just brought the Royal BM back, got another trailer, then came out and I could have wenched
from the tra the second trailer that I bought to the one I had parked out here. And that would have done it. Should, uh, yeah, well, okay. Either way, we're making two trips now. I was trying to do like a farming simulator where I could hook up one trailer to another. And I don't think I see a, a hitch on the back of the logging trailer to do that. And I think the Royal BM would have been, been able to do that. Almost to the same spot where we delivered last load. So the trailer I brought over is gone, so it did disappear. We'll unload the sand first. Okay, it took the logs out of the back as well. Alright, so now we just got to go back and get some logs, but on the way back... I'm going to stop at the trailer store, grab that fuel tanker once again. Top me off with some fuel. Then we'll go get the last set of logs. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this trailer off out here. I can't pull it this way this time because I'm not taking the trailer with us. We're just... Actually, should I get a service trailer as well? Let's see. We got... I'm just looking for... Water... Flatbed... Maintenance trailer. That's what we want. 2,000 liters of fuel. And we can do some repairs on the Royal BM while we're here. Uh, first thing we'll do is repair. Okay, we got repair all. That's good. And trailer to Royal BM. I'm adding my own sound effects to the rain in the background. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm not sure if the microphone's picking up some of this thunder, but maybe it is. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. I need to... Trailer store. And where was it? Maintenance trailer. Sell. Alright, so fully repaired Royal BM and refueled. And in about five seconds, I'm going to spin out of control and do about the same amount of damage I just repaired, right? Because that's, that's how it works. No, not that far back. And of course, now I push the trailer too far away. go and off we go one more set of logs and we'll get the supplies for village done I wonder if the village will wake up and uh, maybe do something for us I, I, I mean like have a service area or something I have no idea like a floating stick right there. At 
least some rain stopped in game. It's amazing when you put tires on a vehicle on Snow Runner where they say mud tires. The good mud but on asphalt, absolutely terrible. You just don't expect them to be <laughs> as bad as they are. Four wheel drive is on, okay. Seem to struggle this a little bit coming up this hill in the mud. So just take a 90 degree left hand turn here and we'll be right back at the, well I was going to say sawmill. But I guess there is no sawmill here, it's just a lumber, lumber area, timber maybe. surprised with the lumber aspect of it. it maybe it's in the game but let me know maybe I just haven't discovered yet or it's in a different season I, you know I haven't bought all the seasons um, that they haven't come up with like a tree harvester for snow runner where we got to go and actually cut down the trees and then drag them out with skid steers and all that kind of stuff Cargo management. Let's see, we gotta switch over to that and then pull them on in. Now the village will be happy. Just gotta make get, gotta get there one piece. Tires are just a spinning. Of course, we got no weight on those rear axles, really. I, don't, you know, we got a little bit from the logging trailer, but not a whole lot. And I think I just lost internet. That's why it's a connection fail. <laughs> as long as I don't lose power, I think we're all set. I'm hoping... I, I, I the, the power did flicker there for a second, but I'm hoping that uh, nothing really... Because that can screw up my recording. Seems lately it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fail that I get time to record. And just as I get ready to record, I can start hearing thunder off in the distance. I'm like, no, no, go go a different direction. And lately, it's like, no, we're going to go right, right over your house, probably. Let's go on down this way. It's relatively smooth. And once we're on the asphalt, I don't want to say we're safe because I seem to slip and slide on the asphalt. But I don't think I'll uh, I'll roll over. I may slide into something, but rolling over, nah.
But even with a full load of medium logs in the back, that trailer likes to dance around. Okay, remember I said I might not tip over? Well, the logging trailer might. And if that goes, it may take me with it. So let's just take it nice and easy. I always say take it nice and easy, then I, and then I try to push it to the limit a little bit. Go past the floating stick, over the railroad tracks. Little by little, we're getting the jobs done. Although I will say, there are a lot of jobs to do on these maps. With Snow Runner, you definitely get your money's worth out of the game because there, there's so much to do. I know for one, I can't keep up with uh, how fast they're pushing out maps and seasons and all the jobs they got. Take it easy through these uh, potholes here. I'm waiting for myself to slide off this road and go into the culvert. So once again, it seems like the jobs are just... I don't know if the game is designed to, when you finish the job, it gives you the next closest job to you. Because uh, the last few jobs I completed, it's like, there's a job like 50 yards ahead that you can do. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. Let's get that delivered. So, another job of delivering consumables. So, I know where to get those. I mean, that's just right up here. Unless they moved it. Uh, they want four, but where would we deliver those? Down to here. That would be the job, like, for the Taga. And the trailer, which is on... Is it, did I leave it here? Ask the potato harvester. Service trailer. Is the Taga even on this map? No, it is not. So I'd probably bring the Taga over with the flatbed. Uh, so we'll... It must be on the Heartlands. I'll have to come in here. Uh, I'll drive all the way up past the fuel area. I'll fuel up. Come up here, we'll load up with four consumables and take them all down at once. Or, I can just use the Royal BM, because we're right here. Bring the logging trailer back, we'll sell that. And get myself another trailer. That's probably quicker. Get myself another trailer that can take uh, two boxes. Come up here, load up with four, and just bring it all the way on down. We could do that, uh, but uh, let's see. What, uh, Kalari Group. And Sun Sales Technologies. Damage Evaluation. Mobile Pump. Or maybe I'll do... Because we've been the Royal BM a lot. Maybe next episode we'll get into doing a contract. Pays decent money. So, let's see. Science Wing. The Institute. Delivered to the Science Wing. One cistern, uh, so that I may need, <laughs> I may need my uh, tog anyways, and deliver one cistern to railway station on the Heartlands. So that's on the other map. Uh, yeah, we might get into that. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. 
I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner, but until then... Uh, where's my horn? I forgot what my horn is. Oh well. Um, I'll find it some other time. <laughs> but until then, have a good one.